Hey, welcome. It's Katie and Rebecca, and we are here for God Doesn't Say That. God uh, Doesn't Say That. So we all, we're, we're not being aggressive me, about it, but we just are that excited passionate. Because I did this this morning. Lately, like this morning I woke up and I was feeling like a real turd, and I realized I wrote down all the, you know, you write down, why am I thinking that? And mm -hmm. then you realize, wait a minute, God doesn't say God that. God doesn't say that. That's like the mean little teeny bully in my head that is not even true. So, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Is like we take God doesn't say that, so don't say that. Through faith, say, say this, this. So don't say God that. Say this. this. Yes. yes, exactly. And so, really, what this comes down to is just that whole idea of believing a lie. And in God's word, it talks about like renewing your mind. If you look at Romans twelve two, He wants to change us, change us into a new person. So, and he does that through the way that we think. He wants to change us into the person that he's made us to be through Jesus. And, and through Jesus, we get to be that. He likes us and died for us. Yeah. Wait a minute, we might not be a soul-sucking worse. And he has all these beautiful truths yes. that he wants us to, to know and to store in our heart. Um, and so he wants us to change the way that we think so that we can know his voice and know what he is calling us into and how he is calling us to live this life. Um, and so we want to uproot those lies that we have in our mind and we want to replace them with God's truth. And so really this is just a practical tool for you to do that where you can say, okay, God doesn't say this. I, because of Jesus, I get to say that because God's word backs all this up. God's Ooh. word says this. Okay. She so, is mad. I, I, I will say we don't, we really don't mean to be aggressive about this, but we we're very passionate about this because we spent years entangled in our lives and we believe lies about ourselves and it dictated how we live because what what's in you comes out of you so if you think you are you know like not good enough then that is going to come out of you in some way you're always going to be beating yourself up you're you're gonna so how it came out of me is that i was a perfectionist and nothing was ever good enough because i felt like i wasn't good enough and so i would do that in my own work and i would also sometimes judge others and say, you know, say, well, that's not good enough. If you eat blue cereal, what comes out of you? If you eat blue cereal, <laughs> Don't eat blue cereal. So what is in you comes out of you. And what we want stored in our minds and in our hearts <laughs> is God's word. Yes. Because if you know, if there's a huge difference between knowing something to be true, believing something to be true, and living in that truth, we got to know it. We have to believe it so that we can live it out. So Kate, what is a lie? And here's the thing, we're always in process. So we're always believing lies. But you learn to identify them quicker, right. and that's the point. And that is the point So, so what's a lie you've been struggling God doesn't say that I'm a nervous wreck. Through faith, I get to say that I have a sound mind. So because God says, for God has not given, a, given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. So don't say I'm a nervous wreck. Say I have a sound mind, because through faith, that is what true. So lately, like that's just, I I am someone, I am have two anxiety disorders. Like it, it's very easy for me to say, oh, I'm just such a nervous wreck. But then I have to remind myself, no, that's a lie. Like I am totally restored through Christ. Mm -hmm. I have a sound mind and that's who I am. Yeah, and even hearing that, I'm like, oh, but sometimes I am a nervous wreck. But that's the thing, like the world wants to convince that's like your identity. us. Right, the world wants to convince us that's who we are. But God is like, no, that's not who you are. I gave you I gave you a spirit of a sound mind. Yeah, that's who you are through me. So let's think about that. You know, like let's. Yeah, and it's okay to get help with that, but yeah. it's like it, for me to go around. It's Saying sort of like it is not helpful. Yes, it's like if you're on um, a, a tightrope and you have a fixed point, you're gonna stay more balanced on the tightrope than if you're just looking everywhere that you're yeah. all over. Yeah, yeah. You gotta fix on the right thing. Fix on, fix it on the right thing. So for me, I struggle a lot with just that this idea that like no one wants. Me. Um, and it's just a lie I believe in my head so often that I'm just not wanted, no one wants me around, I'm no fun. Um, but God doesn't say that no one wants me. That is not His voice. Through faith, I get to say, Woo! I'm a catch. And so she loves this story because whenever I was in this season of my life where it was right before I met my husband, I'd really been struggling with like this idea that I'd never had a boyfriend and I was like, man, what is wrong with me? Like nobody wants me. And so God just made me realize one day, he's like, Rebecca, what do you mean no one wants you? Like, you're a catch. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am. I'm a catch. I love it. Like, I will make a great wife. I'll be a great mom. Like, I'm a catch. And that's not like overconfidence. It's just, 
you've got what you seeing needed. myself in the in the way that God had made me to be. Uh, having I had an accurate view of my father, and I was starting to be able to hear his voice better and have an accurate view of who he made me to be. And so, you all can totally steal that. It's one of my favorites. I'm a catch. Saying, I'm a catch because um, God says in Scripture that we are His handiwork. We get that from Ephesians 2:10, and we're all together beautiful. And that comes from Song of Solomon 4:7. So what lies are you believing? Just write them down and know that, and like ask God, ask God, what lies am I believing? You can even just write that and just listen. And like, I really do think that was God's voice saying, you're a catch. Like that's yeah. from God. So don't say all those lies to yourself. Say the truth because friends don't let. Friends don't let friends believe lies about themselves. Yeah. And so if you have a friend in your life um, you all can give each other some permission just to say like, hey, that's a lie, now tell me the truth. And you all can talk through what lie you're believing, look in God's word and discover his truths and start uprooting those lies in your mind and replacing them with God's truth. Yes, and if you don't have a friend that is like a healthy person to ask right now, reach out to us and we would love to connect you with someone that can help you find out what, what the truth is. Yeah. Because remember, God doesn't say that. Yeah. So, so don't say this. Say that. Or something like that. We're getting, we're new with this. We're gonna get there. Something along those lines. <laughs>